that bag get through. But for a different purpose today, we ain't finna be working out or nothing like that. But I am about to tell y'all why I'm outside. So basically, what this video is is a little bit something different. It's out of the norm. It's not football related or like athletic, none of that stuff. This is more like a personal vlog, you fun type video, but with a purpose. So boom, I'm outside because today I'm gonna be bringing y'all through the process of making my dad's vlog video. Now, I told y'all in the past that I know how to draw and stuff like that, but I had to come out here because he's home right now, and I don't want to know what I got cooking up for him. So basically, what I'm going to do in this video is just bring y'all through the process, showing you what it is I do, how I do it, and you get the gist of the video, and not be, I ain't going to be able to do that much talking because, you know, he in there, the reason I had to come out here, uh, but I'm going to try to explain and show and demonstrate and all that as much as possible. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all whenever we hop straight into it. Alright y'all, so boom. Y'all see them posters over there? Basically that's what I'm gonna be doing for him. But in a specific art style. Now there's this painting I drew for my mom back in middle school. And that's kind of the art style that I'll be using to make that picture. But basically just like these posters that I painted in the past, it's gonna be like that. But for him. And today, my family today was watching Dragon Ball Z. So I'm going to be doing a Dragon Ball Z thing painting with the art style that I have made in the past with my mom when I was in middle school. I actually, let me pull it up and show y'all. Alright, y'all. So, this is the picture I made for her in middle school. So, it's not going to be like this or with this face. It's going to be the Dragon Ball Z character. And then it's going to come out like the poses that I had over here. You can yeah, but I'm just wishing because I don't want problems. Like I said, I don't want to be hearing from you, but that's the plan. We're going to try to put it in fruition. Did I use that word right? Fruition? Fruition? It don't matter. But we finna get started, and I'm just going to be showing y'all the process of what it takes for me to make that. Alright, y'all. So, boom. First thing we're going to be doing is my mom has this projector right here. So, basically, what I'm going to be doing is using my tablet onto my wall over there and then by me doing that the picture that i'm using i'm gonna put my canvas like against the wall and it's gonna shine on the canvas so then i can trace the picture out and then from there i'll actually be able to paint it so now i'm explaining it beforehand but you won't like see what i'm doing okay so there's been a change of plans the projector doesn't want to connect to any of what i have going on so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but once I figure it out, I'll get back to y'all and let you know, because I'm not giving up on this project. It's a dope idea. I know I can do it, I'm just, I gotta find the alternative, because the, yeah, don't want to get it no more. Yeah. But I'll let you know when I find something different. All right, y'all, so I'm back, and I found an alternative. Shout out my mom. Um, she technically found it and gave me the idea. So basically what I have to do is I have to take a cardboard box, cut out a hole the size to fit a printed image that I have, put the printed image on a Ziploc bag, tape it to the cardboard box to put a form of light source in the box so it can project it on the wall. 
it's real DIY, but it's all I have to work with as of right now. So I'm finna try and see if this works out, see how it goes, stuff like that. All right, so boom, what I'm about to do is trace these images onto these bags. And then after that, I'm gonna cut them and then put them on the box. But you guys are gonna watch me trace the images onto the bag first. Get that bag, get through. All right, y'all, so I just finished all the tracing. I ended up doing like a few more designs just off camera because I wasn't really messed with the first one. So I'm gonna film myself doing all the cutting and stuff and hopefully this idea works. All right, y'all, this is the final product. We probably got some, let's hope it works. But y'all, it freaking works. So look, I had the picture right here and I had the, the phone light shining through. Now, I don't know if y'all can see it, but like, it's projecting back here. Like, look at that, that mug works. So yeah, y'all can somewhat see over here that bruh the projection didn't work so now all I have to figure out how to do is get it on the canvas and like have the post and all that so once I get that set up I'm gonna show you how that go alright y'all so I got y'all set up over here cause this one I'm gonna be doing all the tracing and stuff but to the best of my ability I'm gonna try to showcase this Alright y'all, so I had to start filming on my second phone because my first phone died. So if the audio and the quality and stuff look a little bit different, that's why. But basically, the last thing y'all saw was me trying to set all this up. But as you can see, it was a success. Uh, I got the DIY projector working, got the light shining, got the picture on the wall. 
And I was trying to show y'all the process of me tracing the picture out, but like I said, everything I cut out. But yeah, that's what I did. I just traced the picture from on off the wall to the canvas. And the next thing y'all probably end up seeing is me actually starting the painting process and things of that nature. So when that's all said and done, I'm gonna get back to y'all and record that part. She's not gonna want anything to do with him anymore. All right, y'all. What's good, it's your boy John for Thousand? And look, this is day two of this project. So the last thing y'all saw was me tracing it out. Matter of fact, let me go get it for y'all. Boom. I don't know if you can see it because. Last time I like tried doing all this, it didn't show. But yeah, uh, I finished tracing it out on the canvas. So now today I have to actually paint and stuff and things of that nature. So yeah, we just gonna hop straight into it. Ain't gonna waste no time. Make sure y'all stay tuned. If you made it to this part of the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Cause this gonna turn out dope. This gonna be a dope poster. Only thing is, I do have to find my paint brushes. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all whenever we hop into this process. All right, y'all, so I got everything set up. Today, I'm going to be using acrylic paint. That's the same paint I used to make those posters back there. I don't really know if I'm supposed to be using acrylic paint, but it's paint. It's going to get the job done, so that's what I'm using. And I'm doing red and black because this paint that I'm doing kind of has a double meaning. I like... Oh, family, our favorite team in the NFL is the 49ers, but I don't have gold. And the next big thing is red and black. So I'm gonna be painting the Dragon Ball Z themed picture with red and black paint because his favorite and was well, really the only anime he's ever watched. But uh, his favorite anime is Dragon Ball Z. So uh, it's a Dragon Ball Z character with a 49ers paint job. Um, and like I said, paint gonna be going on the plate, uh, got my water here to just clean my brushes and stuff, and then got a paper towel and stuff to wipe them off. So I'm pretty much set to go. I'm just gonna show y'all a little bit of me painting, and then I'll come back whenever the product is finished. I could leave it like this, but uh, like I said, it's already going on a 49ers type theme, so I'm gonna, I'm still gonna add the black, and also it wouldn't look clean because the edges, it looks better on camera, but the edges are kind of jagged, and going back in as an outline, kind of with the black, will do it better. So I'll actually start showing y'all that process when I get to add the black in.
All right, y'all. So after almost three or more hours of painting, we finally basically got the picture done for the majority part. All I'm gonna end up doing is painting the sides and I'm gonna go back in and try to clear up some of the paint because like I said before on camera, like it looks good. Like it looks good in real life, but on camera it looks better. Uh, and I just wanna touch stuff up, like feel some of these white parts. So I'ma let it dry and then I'ma come back and redo all that. But yeah, this is a good picture. It came out well. But yeah, I'ma let y'all know whenever we hop into the next part. Y'all, it's day three, and we're done. I finished the project, bruh. Yesterday, I sat here, I showed y'all the project new Johnny, and I said I'd come back to y'all whenever I finished all our projects. And boy, I ain't gonna lie, it's some heat. This, this mug different, bruh. But I, I ain't even gonna waste no time, bro. We just gonna hop straight into it. So let me go grab it real quick. All right, man. So we got the project right here, bro. On three, we're gonna reveal it. One, two, three, voila. So boom, bro. This project came out so clean. I got, the, I went in, I repainted everything. I went over with a second coat. So you know what I'm saying? We got the black background. With the uh, with the red paint job, like like I said, I would, cause it's along the lines of a 49 to steam, and I got Goku on the front, cause like I said, that's his favorite character. And boy, I ain't gonna lie, I, I did I did my big one with this one, like this this mug tough, and it it's just crazy, like yeah, I don't even know what to say, like this mug tough, and I can't wait to to give it to him, but that's that's really it. Um, this is the end of the video. This is the project that I made, and um, low key, I do want to give y'all a positive message. Like, even though I like you normally, you probably couldn't find them to make some positive out of this, but I do still want to give y'all a positive message. So, I'm gonna let y'all take y'all last look at the picture, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we finna hop right into that positive message. All right, y'all. So, the positive message for this video is. The support the people in your life who are deserving of your support. And I say this because of what I did in the video. My parents have been the best thing that I could ever ask for and experience in my life. And I love them. They love me. They support me. They encourage me. They do all these things. They bring great things and aspects to my life. And because of that, often i give that same energy when it's presented to me in return to the people who deserve it and i want to thank them for the things that they do for me specifically my dad because you know it's father's day it's his day so i want to give a huge shout out to my pops i thank him for what he did and it it makes it easy in me to want to support him by doing something like this for his birthday like taking hours and days to create something for him that i know that he'll like and enjoy and things of that nature because it's just so easy to give back to those who give you an offer of light in your life. And I'm so appreciative of what they do for me specifically, once again, him appreciative of the opportunity they provide me. And I feel like it's only right in me to support and be there for my, uh, for my dad, give him something very nice that I know, like I said, I know he'll appreciate. And I was happy that y'all supported me by watching this video, because you know what I'm saying? I've been wanting to bring y'all uh, positive messages and positive impacts in y'all life and just just show y'all different things and aspects just overall trying to bring positivity and I feel like y'all feel that and y'all support me and I just want to thank everybody uh, who gave me that opportunity um, I just ask that you stay tuned man we got bigger and better stuff coming along this is just kind of a dig into my personal life and things outside of football I was happy to bring y'all along with it but with that being said, that's the process of mission. Just support those people in your life that you feel deserve the support that you had to give. Uh, Cause you don't you don't want to leave people hanging that's there for you. Cause the people that are there for you are rare. Like you don't often get that. So make sure you take advantage of the opportunity when you get it. 
to support those people who support you and love you and care for you and things of that nature. And so with that being said, man, it's your boy John 4000. We're gonna keep it 100, we're gonna keep it 1000, we're gonna keep it 4000. I wanna thank y'all for watching this video and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one.